so the scarier candle empties. I know I sound awful. I'm sick. Um, I have four Bath and Body Works. One that you can't really see very well. It's like down there. Um, one Yankee, one Mainstays, one Colonial candle, one random Walmart candle. So uh, I'll start with the Mainstays. I actually took notes. <laughs> Um, okay. Eight stays. Um, okay. Warm apple pie. Um, didn't really smell. Um, okay. Warm apple pie. Didn't really smell apple pie at all. More of a sweet apple cinnamon scent. Light throw, lots of soot, one refrigerator. So you can't see much of the soot because I cleaned it. But. If I smell it now, it just smells like, oh. <laughs> I can't smell very well, but I can smell that the smell is smoky, so I wouldn't buy that one again. Um, and I'll put my little, uh, I don't know, reviews, I guess. I'll write them in the description. Um, okay, and I have this one, which is Cinder Roll by Home Trends? Yeah. I bought this at Walmart too. Um, it's a few wick, just like the back and body works. Cables. Wicks got a little close there at the end, but it's legal. Um, it left a little more wax than I would have liked, I think. I, like, if I was to compare it to, um, like, the back and body works candle, I don't know, maybe it's not any less, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a little more. Anyway. Um, okay, so. Uh, amazing throw. Awesome scent. Bakery cinnamon roll scent. I've already repurchased and I have. Um, I love this candle. It had a really good throw. It burned well. It didn't give me any issues. I didn't have to mess with it. I can't really smell it right now because, again, <laughs> um, but I really liked it, and I would definitely buy that one again. Um, Colonial Candle. Bamboo. Um, I bought it at Winners. I think it was like, the price is not here anymore, but I think it was like, 10 15 dollars? I don't remember. Um, nice green scent, good throw, too much smoke and soot for me wouldn't be for this. Um, it did have a lot of smoke and a lot of soot, actually. Trim the wicks down really low. It's a green scent that has some sweetness like most bamboo scents do. Um, I don't know. You'll be able to see on the side there. That was all soot. I cleaned most of it, but this whole, like the whole top of the jar was black. But, I did like this, it's just, the performance wasn't very good, and I think that's because I bought it at Winners, and Colonial Candle doesn't even make them in jars like this anymore, they're more like, some oval, oblong kind of jars, um, this didn't leave much whack behind, so that's nice, but the wicks didn't move towards the end, which is no big deal. The reason I had so much soot was because when it was about... I don't know, like, halfway, like, right about here, a little more than halfway, um, the wicks started to tilt in a way where it looked like they were moving at the bottom, but at the bottom, they were still perfectly centered, so, the wicks tilted so much, and one time I had a really deep wax pool on it, I just used, um, a popsicle stick, and I just kind of blew it out and tilted the wicks back up, and, from there on, I didn't have as much soot problems, but I still have to trim the wicks, like, weirdly low. Um, and I have one from Yankee. Uh, Red Velvet. Because in the food and spice. I put this on my warmer. Still has scent, though. But I put it on my warmer, that's why the wick is a little bit off-center, because it didn't do that when it was burning. Um... <coughs> Amazing red velvet cake with cream trees frosting scent. 
great throw, medium to strong, would repurchase. Um, I definitely would. I really enjoyed this. Um, it was really good. I liked it a lot. And towards the end, the reason why I put it on the warmer, which I tend to do with a lot of my work, is like Bath and Body Works, Yankee Candle, I tend to put them on my warmer, but this one had a lot of oil at the bottom. So, I'll try and put this further away, just to have short little arms. <laughs> but, yeah, I really like that. <laughs> my first Bath and Body Works one that I actually didn't write anything about because I couldn't find it. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, boyfriend. <laughs> um, is Autumn. I love the picture. The picture is beautiful. Um, this was really good. This was from last year, 2013. Um, gave me no problems. It's a fresh apple with, like, here, hang on. Fresh apple with a little bit of a balsam fur kind of scent. Um, it's really good. Really strong throw. The only issue was it gave me, which a lot of Bath and Body Works candles don't do this to me. But I cleaned it. But at the bottom, you can see it gave me a lot of soot at the bottom. And that was towards the end, so I guess that's to be expected. But they don't tend to do that to me, just this one did, so. Whatever. But really good candle, really good scent. Um, I would definitely be precious. Uh, really nice, like, early, early fall scent. Like, just went September or late August. This is not too warm. It's really nice. Love that one. Um, and I have leaves. And this is in the white barn packaging. Um, leaves. Um, amazing, super strong throw, spicy apple and berry scent. Staple for autumn for me. Definitely is. A the wax didn't discolor as much as they usually do. Um, I mean, it did a little, but not as bad. Because I'm not turned like brown on me. It's kind of gross. But this one wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, just like a spicy, clovey, cinnamon, apple, berry kind of smell. Really nice. It's a staple for me. Um, let me figure out where I'm going to put this, okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. And then I have pumpkin cupcake. Which this one actually let burn all the way to the end, like it was fully liquefied and extinguished itself. That wick on the far left, it kind of went a little bit longer than that much. Um, I love this candle. I will always repurchase it. Um, really strong throw with a hint of ginger to me. This is one of the few ones in the Pumpkin Cafe collection that I might get a hint of pumpkin, but still not very much. But it's really nice, like a spicy-ish kind of, not spicy, but it has some ginger in it, kind of cupcake bakery scent. I really love this. This is actually my second one I've gone through. I will definitely buy more of these. Probably won't run them this year. We'll probably save them for next year. This one I wrote a lot about. Um, caramel pumpkin swirl. Um, okay scent. No pumpkin at all. Um, just cinnamon and caramel. Um, a direct package of cinnamon caramel swirl from winter last year. A direct repackage. Um, good throw, but not so great performance. Had to soak up a lot of the wax. Wicks were drowning about midway through. Um, I got sick of the scent really quickly. It was a little bit too caramelly for me, which Bath and Body Works tends to do that to me. Like, too much caramel, too rich. It was okay. I wouldn't buy this one again. So, that's all my candles. Um,